All right, so, boom! Before I leave my house to go and pick up ingredients for dinner tonight, because you know, I got responsibilities and I'll be cooking and shoving it up or whatever. First of all, before we even go on with what I'm about to tell you, let me tell you a little bit about Scentbird. Y'all know about it, but I'm gonna tell you again. By now, you all know what Scentbird is. I talk about them so often and use them every single day, especially when I'm going out because I love to freshen up my fragrance. With that being said, if you do not know what Scentbird is, it is a fragrance-based subscription where you can get luxury brand perfumes and colognes every single month. They're travel size, so you can test out the fragrance before committing to the full bottle. They have a brand new sleek design. I love the new packaging. Simply unlock and spray. You can open the bottle up to see which fragrance you are testing out. You get a 30 day supply. That's a lot of perfume. These designer and luxury brand perfumes and colognes can go from anywhere from $150 to $500. So this whole try before you buy a method is amazing and so convenient for someone like me who loves perfumes but is not able to go to the store all the time and test out every single perfume that I'm interested in. They carry brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, all of the hot girl brands. And hot boy brands too. This month I got Burberry Brit Sheer, Romantic, Floral, so pretty. And I also got Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. An absolute staple, fresh, clean, gorgeous. I also got DKNY Be Delicious. It is such an authentic apple scent. I love it. It is so delicious, like the name says, okay? You can use my coupon code PARIS to get 55% off your scent bird. For just over $7 a month, you get to choose which fragrances you want to try so you don't end up with any surprises. 55% off. That's from me to you. I got you. Just a reminder, scent bird is available in the USA as well as Canada. Everything you guys need to know is in the description box down below. Thank you so much to Scentbird for supporting my channel by sponsoring today's video. But let's get back to today's video. Okay, so before I go pick up my ingredients for dinner tonight for my husband and my child in my house, <laughs> minding my business, I ain't in nobody else's business but my own bitch. But um, let me tell you about what happened last night, okay? So for the past, I wanna say, since I announced my pregnancy, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, six, seven, eight, for the past Past eight months, someone has been harassing me online. This is not something that's out of the ordinary or something that would prompt me to be afraid, scared, or any of that shit because I'm an influencer, I'm on the internet. People harass me all the time, okay? People don't like me. Not everyone's gonna like you. I know that, I'm fine with that. That's good, that's great, that's, we okay over here, okay? But this specific person, this specific account was taking it a little bit too far and was making it very obvious that they knew me in real life and they knew things about me that the internet doesn't know. So it kind of sparked my interest, kind of had me like, hmm, who is this who I used to be friends with that is bothered to the point where they're making fake accounts. Not only fake accounts on Instagram, but we're talking about Snapchat, bitch. I don't, I don't even know how you were able to message me. I don't even know how you were able to message me on Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat. I don't think my Snapchat is open for anyone to send me a message. I don't know how to use Snapchat anymore. Like last time I used Snapchat was like six, seven years ago. So I don't know how it even works anymore. But somehow they were able to send me a message on Snapchat. Twitter, my Twitter is private right now currently. So when I clicked on their Twitter, their Twitter was uh, private. So I couldn't see the rest of their tweets except for the tweet that they sent me. They messaged me on TikTok, left TikTok comments. They were going off. When I say they were going off, they was going off all up on and under me, okay? I knew it was the same person because the username was the same but like different variants, okay? Listen, if I were to make a video every single time someone harassed me online, my entire YouTube page, TikTok page would just be straight harassment type content, okay? That's not what this is about. It's the fact that what they said was very personal, okay? So it started off in April, like right around the time that I had to announce my pregnancy. You guys know the story about that and what happened with that. Basically, <laughs> basically when I had to announce my pregnancy because someone didn't force me to, but I had to because they, because 
of their mistake, I started getting a message. I got, the first message I got was a DM on Instagram from an account and the person was like, I think it's sick. I think it's sick that you would make a joke out of pregnancy coming from the person who always doesn't want people to assume they're pregnant. You're going to make an April Fool's joke about, about, about being pregnant and it's sick to me. You're a disgusting person. You're horrible. Do you know how many people struggle with fertility and how many people wish that they could get pregnant and they can't and you're just here lying about being pregnant on April Fool's. You should be ashamed of yourself. Meanwhile, bitch, there's a whole baby. There was a whole baby in my uterus that I gave birth to. So what are you talking about? Let me know. But um, yeah, so that was that. I felt, not, I wasn't offended, but I felt like I needed to explain myself to this person, which I don't normally do. If I get a hate DM from anybody, it's like I read it and I'm like, anyways, like you really took your time out of your day to say this to me. Like I'm not even replying to you. Talk to yourself. You know what I mean? But because it was a topic that I myself, I don't play with. I don't play fertility. I don't play with children. I don't play with baby. I don't play pregnancy. I don't do that. So when I first read it, I was like, oh my gosh, this person thinks I'm lying about my pregnancy. I'm going to send them a DM. I'm going to send them a voice note. So I recorded a voice note back to them saying, hey, I'm not lying. I am pregnant. Uh, this is not a joke. This is what happened. This person who helped me with my YouTube channel, she ended up posting the wrong video for me. Whatever. Explain myself. <coughs> As that evil spirit that this person done sent my way. So when I sent them the voice note now, they sent me another message saying, You're a lying bitch. You're just like, they're still going at it. So I'm like, anyways, restricted. I don't even block you bitches no more. Like, y'all don't even get blocked no more. You get restricted. Talk to yourself. I don't see the message. You keep sending the messages. You keep leaving comments. You're the only one seeing it. Restricted. No more blocking. Do your thing, okay? Go ahead, talk to yourself. Make yourself feel better. Say everything you want to say bad about me, but you're the only one seeing it. So congratulations. So, um, restricted them and I kind of just you know rah, rah, like it's not in my head no more I'm gonna be honest and say that it bothered me though it did bother me because like I said I don't play with I don't play with that type of I don't prank like that okay I don't prank with pregnancy I don't do that I think it's corny I think it's whack I think it's lame as fuck so after I restricted them on Instagram, I started getting tweets. And I'm like, okay, this is the same username, but with numbers at the end. Anyways, let me just ignore what they're saying. They're still going in on me about me lying about being pregnant, all that shit, okay? So for the past since April until yesterday, that is eight motherfucking months, Eight months. This person has made various accounts to attack me almost on a daily basis, okay? I am too blessed to be stressed, okay? When you're trying to attack me for something that I didn't do, I can't really be that mad. That's like someone coming up to me and being like, Paris, you're ugly. <laughs> you're lying. You're a liar. So, <laughs> didn't bother me because I literally had a baby in my stomach. I literally gave birth to this child and I have a daughter. So, why are you still at my neck about something that is true. I don't know. So truly and honestly, it didn't bother me. I was like, I'm gonna let this person keep talking. I don't even have the time or energy to block you. Keep talking to yourself. After I gave birth and I posted that picture on Instagram of me and Cam, like our baby girl holding our finger, the person commented on that picture, even though they're restricted. I could see the comment, but it says restricted, so no one else can see, but I can. They left a comment that said something along the lines of, I don't know whose baby you're using to try. <laughs> I don't know who's I don't know whose baby you're using to try and convince the public that you actually had a child, but this is just sad at this point. Cause you are not pregnant. You were never pregnant, and that prank was not funny. And I read it like, baby girl, apparently you're not real. Is this a dream? Like what is you talking about? Again, couldn't upset me, couldn't make me mad. I literally lost all interest in this account, everything, and then I I got a message yesterday that made me go, what? I said, bitch, you are not a random person in New Jersey or Alaska, bitch, Taiwan. You are not from Brazil, ho. You are not chilling in the Philippines. Like, you are someone in Toronto, Ontario, Canada that knows me personally. Why is you this mad? So first I got a message that, again, harassing. Bitch, you really, you're still going along with this. You're still trying to act like you have a child and you don't, bitch. If you had a kid, you would post her, him, blah, 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 blah. That was a message. And then I got a comment that said, <laughs> it was 
actually on my most recent picture, which isn't really that recent. I don't really post on Instagram that often. I'm more like on stories than TikTok. My most recent picture is me at a PR event, okay? And the person commented and left a restricted comment, might I add, because you're restricted. The comment said, you need to humble yourself. You'll always be that MAGA. If you guys don't know what MAGA is, it is Patwa, which is a Jamaican dialect for skinny. Anyways, you need to humble yourself. You'll always be that MAGA little girl from 3434. Y'all don't know what 3434 is, but 3434 is a building that I used to live in. <laughs> What? You're definitely not someone I don't know. Whoever you are, you know me personally to know that I lived at 3434, bitch. I don't know what sitting on the side of a pool at Cabana has to do with being humble, but you mad. Honey, if you want to go to Cabana pool bar, it's like $20 to get in, I think. I don't know. I don't even know. I didn't go to Cabana pool bar. This was a PR event. I was invited for free. So, I mean, it's accessible to the public, though. Like, if that's where you want to go and you want to enjoy yourself in the summertime, like, you're free to go. What? You're acting like I was invited to to the Met Gala, bitch. Like, the projection is crazy, but the 3434 is what caught me off guard. I said, 3434, say less. At this point, I'm like, let me let me interact with this account because I want to see how they talk, how they rat themselves out. Is my, is, is, who's that? This dog got a jacket on. Yo, hold on. I need y'all to see this. That was about cute as shit. Anyways, so I interact with them a little bit just to see, you know, I wanna I wanna see them like bait themselves out and expose who they are. Like at this point, I'm in investigation mode. I don't know if you guys know this, but like I'm queen of investigations. If your boyfriend is cheating on you, if you wanna find out who the fake account is, if you are trying to find your father, bitch, I am that girl. I'm gonna find it for you. Give me 48 to 72 hours and the case is closed. Like I should have really been into the forensic units of of Toronto Police Services or something, bitch, because I'm on it. I'm on it, okay? Anyways, I'm talking, we're arguing back and forth, back and forth. I said 34, 34, so who is this then? So who are you? Like, what's up? If you knew I was at 34, 34, you would also know that I left there a very long time ago, two houses ago. Been gone from 34, 34, two houses ago. What are you talking about? Keep talking, let me hear your lingo. Let me see how you try to disrespect me. Let me hear it, let me hear it. That's when she started bringing up names, okay? Okay, she started, I'm not gonna say nobody's name here because even if I don't talk to these people anymore, I got respect for certain people where it's like, yeah, we might not be friends, but you still cool in my book. Like, I ain't gonna chill with you, I ain't gonna call you, you ain't getting a happy birthday, but God bless your ass. You get what I'm saying? So, when she started bringing up names now, she was saying like, let's use names like ABC, okay? She was like, I remember when you were the quiet, humble little girl who was chilling with A, B, and C. How come you don't talk to A, B, and C anymore? And I'm like, A, B, and C? Those are three people from three different friend groups, right? And C, me and C still cool. We still chill, we still talk and all that. So the two that you're talking about now, a lot of people don't know that I know these two like that. A lot of people don't know that we used to chill like that. So I, this just broke it down to me and left two people, left two individuals that I was like, it could be this person or it could be this person. I decided to investigate Tanisha. That's her real name. I decided to investigate Tanisha. Is that my my husband, it sure is. There you go. Hello, Cameron. I'm gonna let him say hi before I continue my, my little rant here. Hold on, he parking. Not with your ass out, Cam. This guy doesn't even know I'm in the car. <laughs> Come say hi to the camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to investigate Miss Tanisha. That's her real name. What's up, Tanisha? Because apparently you watch all my shit and all that. What's good? What's poppin', girl? I haven't talked to you in like nine years. But for some reason, a bitch is still on your mind. <laughs> 3434, come on, baby. Sad. But um, she popped up in my mind because she's like one of the only one out of two people that knows that I used to chill with A and B. A and B are from two different friend groups. So literally nobody else knows that. So it was either Tanisha or someone else that I had in my mind. Seeing as that it was Tanisha, I'm like, let me try and I ain't, I ain't a hacker. I don't know nothing about computerotics. I don't know nothing about nothing, okay? But I'm like, let me try and see if I can do the the old you know when someone makes a fake account the easiest thing to do is to put in their username and then put in like a jagger jagger password or press forgot password and then it will tell you what the first letter and the last letter of their email or number is or whatever the case may be so i did that and it was connected to a number i will have tanisha's number because 
bitch, I haven't talked to you in nine years. So at that point, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Who's Tanisha to me? Let's get to that really quickly. Tanisha is a girl that I used to be friends with. Yeah, yeah, we were pretty close friends. Nine years ago, nine years ago, uh, probably 10 years ago. I'm not even exaggerating. Maybe even 10 years ago. I did a story time about her before. Shit, I don't know which one it was. There's a lot of stories that I could tell about this girl. But anyways, <clears throat> uh, she never approached me about story time. She never said, hey, like, why did you, nothing. So you're just sitting down and watching this whole time. Is that what it is? Y'all are weird. Anyways, uh, Tanisha and I were, were pretty good friends back in the day. And pretty good to the point where, actually, let's rewind. To put it in a better perspective, you know how we all have that one friend that we like grew up with, then grew apart from? That's what Tanisha was to me. So I knew her from like grade, uh, grade seven, I think? No. I knew her from like grade four to grade seven, let's say. We didn't go to the same school, but she lived in my area, which is why she knew that I lived at 3434. So we were friends for that period. Then we grew apart. And then when we were a little older, we reconnected for a little bit, okay? Now, when we were younger, I don't know about y'all, but we had this website called Neopets. Neopets was a website where you could like make these like cool little Martian animals and like you raise them and you feed them. And it was such a good and like cool, like, oh, I miss being a kid. But anyways, it was like one of my favorite websites ever. And we used to have another website called Have a Hotel. Those are the two websites that I used to back and forth with, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's all I did all day as a child, okay? And so did all my friends. All we did was go on Neopets and have a hotel. And I don't know about you guys, but when we were small, we used to share our passwords with all of our friends. For what reason? I have no clue. What's the point of having a password if you're gonna give everyone your password? But me and my close friends back then, we all shared passwords. So we'd go in each other's accounts. And like, if I couldn't do something, I would give my password to Tanisha and vice versa. So Tanisha's password back then was her name without the T, her dog's name, which is Trix, T-R-I-X-X, -X, and um, 93 at the end. So Anisha Trix 93, capital T for the Trix. I remember everything, okay? Don't, tr do not test me. So Anisha, capital T, Rix 93. Just on a whim, just on a mother whim, bitch. I'm like, let me try and put this password into this username that has been harassing me for eight months and see if it works. Because if it does, it's Tanisha. Duh. So I put the password in, bitch, and that shit worked. I was in there like swimwear. Tanisha? Tanisha? Let me talk to you real quick, Tanisha. This is, it's getting pathetic. It's getting sad. You spent eight months out of your life harassing me about a baby that I do have. For what? What did you accomplished during this adventure of stupidity did you feel like by harassing me i would send you a picture of my child and be like this is proof see i do i do have a baby what did you think was gonna happen honey because what did happen was i found out it was you because apparently you haven't changed your password in the last 10 years so nothing has changed with you you still a bum bitch your password is still anisha tricks 93 and it looks like you still have those braids in for the last 10 years Take it out! Take it out! The new growth is new growthing! What are you doing? You look crazy! So I get into Tanisha's account and I'm looking through her DM. When I, first of all, when I got her account, I was like, bitch, I'm a hacker. But apparently not, you're just dumb. I'm in her account, like, losing my shit, jumping up and down, screaming, calling my friend, like, yo, you remember that Tanisha bitch? You know that girl who always had those old ass braids in? That one. Why is she, you know what I mean? I'm just telling everyone I'm going off. I'm like excited and like scared at the same time because it's like you never know who's behind these fake accounts now do you anyways when I'm in the account I go to her DMs and I see I'm not the only person she's harassing it's not just me and some of the things she's saying to these other people are it's crazy like you're crazy like you're insane you're telling people to end their lives l-i-v-e-s not like Instagram live that's a nice car I like that car what is that it's an Audi I like that it's nice. Huh. Um, you're talking about people's children, calling people's children all type of names. And guess what? All these people that she is talking to and harassing are people from my old area in Scarborough. So what I do? What do I do? So what do I do? <laughs> 
I screen recorded everything for receipts and evidence and I was going to, I was going to go live on her account and be like, this account belongs to Tanisha, but that would look crazy because imagine me on this account that has been harassing people from my area and I'm talking about, hey, this account belongs to Tanisha, then why are you on the account, Paris? What are you doing here? Do you get what I'm saying? People think it's my account. So I'm like, shit, I can't go live. I was about to though. I'm like, shit, I can't go live. How am I gonna prove that this is Tanisha's account? I screen record all the messages that she had sent me, not from eight months ago, but the recent ones, okay? And the people that I didn't know that she was DMing and harassing, I messaged them on my account and I said, yo, has this account been harassing you? Send them the screenshots. It was two people that I knew, like, not personally, but like, I follow them on my account. And they were both like, yeah, like, do you know who it is? I'm like, it's Tanisha. Explain to them exactly what's going on and what happened. And they're like, bro, I knew it was Tanisha from the way she was speaking. I haven't talked to her in 10 years, so I don't even know if she speaks the same way that she used to speak. But I mean, her, vo her, her vocabulary is very minimal. So yeah, I it kind of sparked me too. She's a little bit, you know, the rest of us are like this. And she kind of... if you know what I mean. So instead of going live, I changed her password. She's so stupid that it's like, I don't know, like, like I don't know. Me personally, I put uh, two authentications, whatever it's called, like when you have to put your phone number and they send you a text and then you could get into your account. I put that on every single one of my accounts. I have like five accounts. I have my Mrs. Paris Mars, my main account. I have my food account. I have my, like I have a bunch of accounts, okay? That, that are just me. And all of them, you need my number and to confirm on my phone in order to get in. She didn't have that on her account at all anyways instead of going live what I decided to do was to change this is the fake account that I'm inside right now to change her main profile picture which was a some cartoon shit like I guess to disguise who she really is I changed her main picture to a picture of herself okay and I changed her bio to my name is Tanisha should I say her last name I'm gonna leave it alone look I still got listen I shouldn't have any sympathy for this bitch but I'm gonna leave it alone because she is very easy to find very easy to find okay so I put my name is Tanisha last name to everyone I've been harassing online I'm sorry it's projection that's that's her bio right now and then I changed the password so she can't even go back in and then I sent a copy and pasted message to every single person that she was harassing in the DMs explaining who she was and explaining that I was able to get into her account without saying it's me without saying it's me Paris you get what I'm saying because I don't want people to think I have anything to do with it I was just able to get into her account because she hasn't changed her password in the last 10 years after I sent the messages I changed her password like I said got out of there I'm not I'm not gonna correspond with anybody because at the end of the day I didn't say the things that Tanisha was saying I'm just letting them know who it was you feel me I did not message Tanisha on her main account but somehow her main account messaged me huh her main account messages my account to say why is this account say my name on it what are you trying to do what are you talking about if this fake account is in your account how would you know that I changed anything on it hmm someone told you did somebody tell you that your name is on this fake account or were you just not able to get in hmm did someone say Paris did this because only two people know that I did this and it's the two people that I follow on Instagram and they said that they didn't tell you nothing but you proceeded to say this bitch bye goodbye you baited out yourself you ratted yourself out that's it that's done it's dead it's dead rest in peace done she then proceeded to send me voice notes crying saying that the account didn't belong to her if the account doesn't belong to you how was i able to get in it using your old password from when you were 14 years old huh who else's password is anisha your name without a t tricks your dog's name and 93 the year you were born huh hmm you think bitches is stupid that doesn't make sense who else's password would be that who would make an account that has the same password that you used to use as a child make it make sense ma'am you're not making any sense I literally don't know how she knew it was me who hacked into her account maybe it's because I was the last person interacting with her and she also pointed out and said that she thinks that I hired someone to hack into the account I, I'm not spending money on that it took me less than five seconds to get into that account because you're dumb just saying and if this wasn't your account why would you be so eager to get your name off of it if you don't know what the account was doing you don't know what the account was saying you don't know who the account was interacting with what are you talking the account was private
private. So anyone who's publicly trying to view the account can't see anything or can't see who the account is following. You're dumb. You're stupid. You lost. You're a loser. Pathetic, really. So I told her, I'll take your name down and I'll delete the account. So I'm admitting that I got into the account that is yours. Um, I'll take your name down and delete the account once you admit that it's you. And I wanted her to do this so that I could screenshot it and send it to everyone who she was harassing again. She would not admit that it was her. So it's staying up there. It's still up there. It won't get deleted. Point blank period. That's it. We're done. The end. <laughs> y'all moral of the story is mind your business be happy for real within your life you if you're not really happy in life this is the shit that you'll end up doing making fake accounts to try and bring people down and trying to make people feel sad and telling people all kinds of crazy shit because you ain't got shit going on in your life and the one thing she was focusing on more than anything was like my marriage like she's just like you shouldn't be married like you're the last person who should be married like you don't deserve love da -da -da -da. bitch i haven't talked to you in 10 years what are you talking about like there are some people out there who can be single and happy. You're not one of them. You're one of those You're one of those jealous bitches that wishes they were in a relationship that wishes a man would love them the way my husband loves me The projection is very obvious and kind of sad and jealousy is a disease and I hope you never get better I hope you die of the disease of jealousy I really do. Because if y'all saw the mess she was saying, I'm being very nice by leaving out some details. I'm going to be real honest with you. Because I'm going to send this, I'm going to send this video that I'm about to post on YouTube to the two people that I told what I did this to. Just so they can get the full picture of how this happened and how I know. <laughs> okay. Anyways, make sure y'all follow me on TikTok, uh, Twitter, uh, uh, Instagram. TikTok mostly though, cause I'm trying to I'm trying to pop on there. <laughs> I'm such a liar. I don't be posting shit on there. But follow me regardless. Y'all be safe. Y'all surround yourselves with people who love you, care about you, and want the best for you. Leave the dumb hoes in the past. And if someone left you in the past, stay in the past. The fuck? Bye, weirdo.